Hey y'all, out at the uh, cruising at the European Auto Garage and uh, I got a little 92 uh, NSX. I've always liked these cars, um, but to find one again, they're hard. They, they're just not a dime a dozen on every corner. So anyways, uh, a guy named Chad's got one here and it's a pretty good looking car. So I think I'll uh, try to run him down so we can take a look at it. Give me just a second to find him. Chad, how are you, brother? Good. Good. Tell me, uh, tell me a little bit about your uh, hot rod here. All right, it's a 1992 Acura NSX. Um, and in the process, converted over to the, the Honda spec, which that's where it went everywhere in the world except the United States. It come over as an Acura. Everywhere else, it went as a Honda. I got you. And why would that be important? Uh, just to be different. Just or? to be a little different and right. to be kind of true to the way it actually came out. I mean. Uh, a lot of companies rebadge stuff just to make it, you know, to fit to where it's going. Right. Um, Accurate here in the United States is a little bit higher level. Right. A lot of people think so, but I just like the well, way and that, that's me. I would think like if it came as a Honda, I can understand rebadging as an Acura because that's a little more upper end yeah, car, right? The, but here in the U.S., it's it's a little bit more of an upscale thing, but uh, it's actually truly a, a Honda. Right. All the badging. Uh, when it come over even on the motor and, and all the door seals and I'll say Honda Motor right. Company. Right. So I just want to go back to the Honda. Have you done anything outside of the badging? Is there any, anything else that needs to be changed on the car? Uh, well, the uh, some, some dash components like the radio have said Acura. I've changed that over to make it look a little bit more modern. I've put in the uh, carbon fiber piece with the touch can you screen. you want me to go for me? Yeah, sure can. No, I love that carbon fiber. That's cool. And that's an aftermarket radio in there? Yeah, yeah, that's a Kenwood aftermarket touchscreen. And I went in with the, the carbon fiber. The only thing I left lock is the uh, the steering wheel, which will have the Honda symbol here. And I'm trying to source one from Japan now, but having a little that's trouble hard, finding yeah. Yeah, having a little trouble finding one to get to get over here. And is it a complete different wheel, or is it just a center that's different? Uh, the wheel's exactly the same. I'm trying to just find the center, which has the airbag, but right. I'd take a complete wheel if I right. could find one. How long have you had the car? Uh, about four years. Found it uh, in Georgia. I bought it off a nice guy there. So you're just a second owner? Uh, third owner. Third owner. I'm third owner of the car. And like I was saying, all the badging says, you know, manufactured in Honda. Right. Even the motor, it all says Honda all over it. Huh, that's strange. Mm -hmm. Where is the motor in the back? Yes. It's a mid. That's a six cylinder. Yeah, V6. Uh, one of the first VTECs that they came out with. And the only thing with these motors is you got to get the RPMs up before yeah. they really perform. It's about 55 to 5700 RPM, then the, the VTEC will kick in and right. you really have the power that. And it's there. strange coming because I drive American cars and that, I've driven a VTEC and that's strange because you have to wind them so high you're thinking to yourself this thing's going to blow yeah. but that's when it kicks in that's when it starts to work for you you know. I have, I have a Corvette and you're around 2500, 3000 RPM you're really pulling in that thing. Right. This you're just kind of motoring along right. until you get up to the, about the 5500 range. Right. Do you like it? Yeah I really enjoy it. I mean the thing about it is not that many out right but it's still still a hunt it's comfortable to drive right reliable yeah cruise down the interstate i live in greenville it's about an hour and a half up here right this uh this event 70 miles an hour cruise control just sit back and relax it's not like it don't beat you to death even though it's you know, got the steer sports suspension. car right yeah is, it, is the suspension adjustable or is it uh it, not on this one no. it's just set from the factory and they don't make these anymore, but are, aren't they planning on bringing them back? Uh, 2005, I think, I think is when they quit. But yeah, they've been talking about bringing it back for years. And right. Putting a bigger motor in them and stuff like that. Right. But, uh, well, what year vet do you have? Uh, 02. 02? Yeah. And how's it compared to that? Well, the O2s are a lot more, uh, it's about the same. There's yeah. not that much difference. You're just going from a, a grunty low end, low, you know, high torque V8. Right. To something that has to kind of wind up, but. And these are naturally aspirated or they got a turbo? No, naturally. Yeah. And how many horse do they come with? I think this like? one is around 275. Oh, okay. 
you know. So it's not even yeah. like yeah. crazy horsepower. No, not crazy horsepower. I've done a few things, uh, of course, K and N filter, new exhaust, and a few things like that. So I'm. Is that a, is that a repaint on there or is that stock? No, that's factory. Man, that looks good, don't it? Yeah. See, the previous two owners and I'll, also I try to take real good care of it. Sure. It's always garage. How many miles is on it? Uh, Eighty-four thousand. Wow. So you get out and drive it too? Yeah. How many miles was on it when you bought it? Uh, 57, 58, something okay. like that. So. Cool. I like, you know, I don't drive it in the winter. It stays up. Oh, yeah, summertime, yeah, yeah. I love getting out and just riding around. But then again, we're lucky in the south. Our winter's really not winter. Yeah. You can drive it in December. Yeah. And lately, they used to not use salt down here, but lately they've been putting <laughs> salt down. So you do have to be careful. And you yeah. put some aftermarket wheels on it. Yeah. <laughs> Those are standard brakes and all. Yeah, it's the standard. I did switch it over to the drill and slotted rotors, which right. had just the standard. So I did do that, cleaned up the calibers and, and painted those, painted those. What is that? A trunk that's in the front then? Yeah. Here, I'll open it up. Yeah, cool. Check it out. I wonder how much one of those uh, Z's are working on the back. back. Well, there's still a lot of mechanical stuff here. It's yeah. Not really a trunk, even. I mean, you couldn't no, keep anything dry or anything in there. The trunk's in the back, but uh, the spare tire goes here. Right. Uh, I took it out to, to accommodate the, the hood. Right. The scoops. Now, did you make those, or is that something you bought? Uh, no, actually, the previous owner. He had it done right before he sold the car to me. Right. So, you don't have a spare tire, but... Did it have a full-size spare in it? No, it's just a, it's actually just a little small donut. Right. And they don't even inflate it. It comes with a kit in the back to uh, actually pump it up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think like the new new Corvette and stuff comes with a can of Fix-A-Flat. I don't yeah. think it comes with any kind of spare. And what's going on up here? Anything? Uh, are those yeah. just plugs? No, they're just plugs. Yeah. You got the shock towers on both sides. That's right. What, it's actually what these and then the bolts so you can get to oh, I got take you. them out without pulling the plastic piece. Like and then you change that emblem over to a Honda yeah, emblem. Yeah, Honda emblem in the front and the back. Wow. No, that's a pretty car, brother. I really like it. And this chin spoiler, was that on it? Uh, no, I put that on after. Yeah. Just when I changed the, the symbol in the front, I right. changed all that. Wow. Well, brother, I appreciate it. I'm going to take a walk around it. And okay. uh, were those NSX seats that way, or did you do that no, too? No, no, I just had that done over the winter. Yeah? They come with the black leather, but I had the NSX put Embroidered the in there? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Just to add a little bit of something to it? No, man, that's a very cool car, man. Thanks so much for letting me look at it. All right, thank you. Yeah. Hang in, folks, we're at a car show, so. Before you start complaining at me about getting far back so you can see it, understand I'm going to get back as far as I can. <laughs> But there's a ton of people here today. And uh, man, what a cool car. And the problem is too, is you get too far back and then people don't realize what you're doing or they care. And they walk right in front of you, so. It's hard to get that a whole shot. Anyways, there you go. Very cool. 92 NSX. Thought y'all would enjoy seeing this one. Hope y'all have. See ya.